Today's video is an overview of the strengths, weaknesses, and characteristics of a precision setup, an XA setup, and a low and slow 3D setup. Now this isn't definitive, there are always exceptions and there are people that do stuff differently, but this gives you a good understanding of how things are set up. The problem with the nose heavy plane is it has an ineffective elevator, it's prone to tip stalling, has excessive knife edge coupling, won't slow down and when you go into a 45 it pulls really hard to the canopy. It's uncontrollable and not fun to fly. Tail heavy plane is the same way, it has a hyperactive elevator, it balloons and falls, it drops vertically on the stalls, it couples towards the canopy in a knife edge and it pulls to the gear in a 45. It takes you longer to set it up than it does for it to tear itself apart. I'm pretty sure a good number of experienced pilots would agree with me when I say that the precision setup is probably the most difficult to get dialed in. If your goal is to fly in any of the iMac type competitions, a good precision plane is what it takes. Let's talk about the strengths. So you have controlled and predictable flight, large smooth maneuvers, tight clean rolls, stable flight, rapid stall recovery, predominantly unstalled flight. The way that it works is if it's great at one thing, it's not good at something else. So some of the weaknesses, low energy stalled flight, low speed flight, tight lateral axis maneuvers, tight pitch axis maneuvers. A well set up competition plane may have a hard time doing something like a tight knife edge spin. It's just not what they're set up to do. Some common characteristics of a precision setup is the plane's going to have a forward CG, which is going to give it a stable tail. You're going to have a smaller diameter prop with generally a higher pitch, and quite often it's going to have three blades. These planes are commonly set up with tune pipes and headers to give them a really strong top end, and then they're going to be flown with a high steady throttle. The goal is to have a rapid, consistent flying speed to make the plane more predictable. You're going to find that these planes have minimum throw, they have low exponential, which makes the travel of the surface very linear. This gives the travel high resolution. The plane's also set up with either dual rates or flight modes so that it can do snaps and stalls. The same holds true for the yaw rate and the roll rate on this plane, minimum throw, high resolution. Let's take a minute and see how this plane fits within the balance triangle. We want the plane to be stable, so we can't have an aft CG, we've got to move it forward. With our throws, we want them to be both low and linear, so anything too high is likely to create a problem. With thrust, we want a higher pitch, higher RPMs. This is going to provide a high, consistent thrust, making the plane feel responsive and aggressive like a sports car would. Setting the plane up this way, you're going to have a stable tail, consistent thrust, proportion throws, and it's going to have rapid stall recovery. That means you're going to have controlled and predictable stalls. Having a stable tail, consistent thrust, and high resolution throws also means this plane is going to fly very precisely. So if you have a precise flying plane that's at a constant speed and you're having these beautiful controlled stalls, you know, that's what scale aerobatics is. And if you want to be competitive at scale aerobatics, you really need a plane that's set up for precision. Fast and aggressive is your thing, but you don't want to do it in a straight line. You may want to set your plane up for some extreme aerobatics. With an XA setup, you're still going to be able to fly fast with big maneuvers. The only thing is you're going to add in these extreme high energy aerobatics and it's going to spin on every axis faster than you can see sometimes. It's a well set up XA plane is just insane. Now the downfall to an XA plane is it does require quicker reaction time and it does put a lot of stress on your airframe. The plane's not really great at low energy stuff. Forward CG just want, makes it so the plane wants to fly a little faster. So some of the characteristics of an XA setup. You're going to have a forward CG because this plane's set up for stop and go flying. That means that you've got to have rapid acceleration. You're going to use a smaller diameter, higher to mid high pitch prop. This plane's flown deep in the RPMs because you've got that stable tail, but to make it aggressive, you've got to have thrust. It's got single rates, high expo most of the time, and you're using maximum throw. 
this plane is inherently stable, so you're going to have these 60 degree throws and you're pushing as much air across there as possible. A lot of times you have to actually surge the throttle to push the tail end down and hold that plane in a stall. The rudder and the ailerons are also set up so that the plane has an extreme roll rate on both of those axes. Okay, so with the balanced triangle, we want the plane to be stable. So again, we're going to have a forward CG. Now the difference with this plane is with our throw, we're going to have high exponential, high travel, and high servo power. Without them, you're just not going to be able to push that tail down and get it to rotate. With thrust, high prop, and or high RPM. 60-65 degree throws on this, you're going to use Expo to enhance the resolution. You've got a high amount of thrust and a stable tail, which means this plane is going to be speed capable. At the same time, you've got surface centering power, rapid acceleration, and aggressive angle of attack, so the plane recovers from stalls easily as well. With the high thrust, high throws, and the huge surfaces, this plane can create thrust and drew stalls, high speed rotations, wraps around its axis. This is an XA setup. All right, we're going to talk about our third and my favorite setup, the 3D flying style, low and slow. The strengths of this setup are, you know, for low speed flight, uh, slow, smooth maneuvers, and low energy aerobatics. This plane's still going to be able to rotate really well on all three axes, but it's going to do it in a much less violent way and a lot more smooth and controlled. Everything just looks a little more intentional and a lot less abrupt. This setup's fantastic for slow high alpha flight and rolling harriers. Now some of the weaknesses. Unlike XA and Precision, it's going to be a lot more speed sensitive. You've got a slower stall recovery. It does have dis diminished precision flight. And it's a lot more difficult to control because it doesn't recover from stalls as easily. Which means this plane has a narrower flight envelope. Some of the common characteristics of a plane that's set up for 3D. It has a neutral CG, not too far forward, not too far back. It does have a responsive tail. And it has a slower flying speed. Commonly, these planes have a larger diameter propeller with a lower prop pitch. Low, mid, steady throttle. And with the CG being neutral, this plane is going to have a more active tail. So you're going to have to reduce the throw. A lot of times you'll have low rates and high rates or 3D rates on this plane. With this plane, you're still going to have a increased yaw and roll rate over precision but at the same time it's not where XA is this plane again we want to be controlled and less violent all right so let's talk about the balance triangle this is kind of the Goldilocks of planes so when it comes to stability you know too far forward too far back is not good neutral is where you want to be not too much travel not too much exponential you know just enough you want it responsive you want it to work with the thrust we want a constant and consistent amount of thrust using a lower pitch and lower rpms having a reduced expo and a neutral cg you're going to have a more sensitive or responsive tail which is going to allow you to fly slower the combination of the neutral cg the constant thrust and responsive surfaces is going to allow you to fly off of the prop rather than the wing for your 3D maneuvers. Your mid to high throws, your controlled low thrust, low steady RPMs, that neutral CG, that's going to give you the slow high alpha flight and that's how we set up a plane for low and slow 3D. If you find this content valuable, like it, comment, Share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. If you don't, go ahead and hit that unlike button two times, just for good measure. Until next time, happy landings.